Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control, and I'm doing a video series on how to stop yourself from bringing bed bugs home from vacation. It's summertime, lots of people are going out to the beach, to the mountains, on cruises, all over the world. People are going on vacation, they got the kids home, and so, you know, this is usually the peak season for vacations a lot of people go to the beach and stuff like that so i want to try to help you stop bringing bed bugs home because a lot of people are worried that they're going to bring them home from like i said the places they stay whether it's a hotel a friend's house or uh vacation rentals airbnbs whatever number one thing you want to do. Now, the, I, I'll tell you now, I don't know how long these videos are going to be. Some of them may be longer than others. I know I just got done with a Myth May series in May uh, where I was, you know, everything was less than five minutes. These might be longer than five minutes. They might be shorter than five minutes. So uh, bear with me. Today, I want to go over your home and how to prepare your home. So this is what you're going to want to do before you even leave your house for vacation. You want to make sure that you've treated your house on a preventative for bed bugs. Now, if you have a pest control technician coming into your home, they can do this for you. They can treat your home and they can uh, maybe even treat your luggage. It just depends on the chemicals that they use. I know I have pesticides that I use on luggage bags that are actually labeled to use on luggage bags. Um, now, I don't, I'm not so much inside the luggage. I don't do hardly anything inside a luggage bag, but I do treat the exterior of the bags. And the reason you want to do this is because when you go into a hotel, you can take your luggage and set it to the side. And if a bed bug crawls up on your bag, or if your bag happens to get an egg or something like that stuck to it, then when the egg hatches, the bed bug is already in a chemically treated area. And so they're not going to infest your home but you're also gonna want to treat your home. You're gonna wanna do the cracks and crevices throughout your house. If your pest control technician uses something like Alpine WSG or a pesticide that's able to be used on box springs, uh, bed legs, places like that, then you wanna do that. You wanna go ahead and treat those areas. Talk to your pest control guy and say, hey, I'm going on vacation next week or hey, I'm going on vacation the day you're supposed to come out to my house. Can you come a couple days early and treat my house? Because it's important to do this as bad as bed bugs are, as, as prolific as they are, as horrible as they are for spreading around from people to people to people, you really want to try to do this. And it's going to be a lot cheaper to treat your home preventatively than it is after you've already gotten bed bugs. Because now, I don't do, anybody who watches my channel, I don't do heat treatments, um, but I am going to go into heat treatments a little bit later on, something that you can do yourself to save money. Um, but if you're bringing bed bugs into your house and you haven't done a preventative treatment on your home and the bed bugs get into your box spring and they get into your mattress. Now, I go in when I do a treatment. I've got videos on YouTube showing me do treatments. I wrestle with the mattress. I flip up the mattress. I flip up the box spring. I treat the bed rails, headboard, footboard, inside the box spring, outside of the box spring, the mattress. All this stuff gets treated, plus the baseboards throughout the house, and every single bed has to be treated that way. People will say, well, uh, you don't need to do this room because no one ever sleeps in that room. It doesn't matter. Eggs can transfer from your clothing. Bed bugs can transfer from your clothing. Bed bugs naturally will go into other rooms of the house. So just because no one sleeps in the room, you can't rule out that bed bugs aren't in the room. So you do very extensive, very thorough treatment throughout the whole house. There's no such thing as overkill. And you treat furniture like sofas, this, and you know, you, you, you have to do your lazy boy chairs. You have to do medical, like, you know, chairs and stuff to help people stand up, things like that. All that stuff has to be treated because people spend time in those areas. They sit down in those areas and they transfer the bed bugs from their bed to different areas of the house. That's expensive. It's a lot of work and it's expensive. And if you do a heat treatment in the house, that's even more expensive. And it's, it's going to cost you a lot of money. 
If you just do preventative pest control where all your pest control technician has to do is come through your home and treat your furniture, <coughs> maybe, um, maybe your box springs, maybe hit a box spring through the room or something. He's not actually having to flip up your beds. He's not actually having to turn over your sofas and stuff like that. Then yeah, it might be an upcharge, but it's not going to be anywhere near close to a, an elimination process. You know, if you're having to come in and eliminate bed bugs, you have to get paid for that. So, um, I know last year, uh, I actually put my back out doing bed bug treatments this time of the year. It is time for people to go on vacation. It's when I get extremely busy with bed bug jobs and I'm trying to help you guys, uh, not bring bed bugs in. A lot of people say, well, you can't prevent bed bugs, but it's not true. I do it every day. I'm going to tell you a story. Now here, if you guys want to cut off, I'm not really going to be much more beneficial as far as information, but I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me personally. I was treating a home. I've been treating the home for years and years. The lady gets mice and she gets ants in her home. And so if it doesn't get treated, she has mice and she has ants. And so I went to her house to do a, uh, pest control job and it's just routine pest control she had come back from her uh vacation and she has a separate room it's like a closet kind of but it's it's actually like a, an attic room you know a lot of your uh cape cods and stuff will have these rooms upstairs where they may not use them as a bedroom but they use them as like a storage room or a closet that's where she kept all of her luggage and when i went upstairs to check uh, to treat this room, you know, that I always treat this room every, every time I come to her house, um, I found hundreds. I mean, not, not just a little bit, but hundreds of bed bugs dead everywhere. Dead all over the floor, dead on her luggage bags, um, where the bugs had come from wherever it was she had been on vacation, and they had died before they even made it to her house. In fact, one bed bug did make it downstairs to the bathroom under that closet, and it was dead too. Nothing actually made it into her bedroom. Nothing made it onto her bed. So, um, you know, try to be proactive. Try If you've got a vacation planned for the winter, um, or winter, if you've got, a, well, if you've got a vacation planned anytime, Think about bed bug treatments. Bed bugs aren't something that just bother people during the summer when they're traveling during the summer. They will also bother people during the winter. They'll bother people during the fall. They'll bar bar bother people during the spring. They're not a, uh, you know, a seasonal pest. They're a year-long pest. So if you're thinking about going on vacation, try to do a preventative pest control plan, and it will help you in the long run. And sometimes it will even give you a discount if you do still end up bringing bed bugs home. It's something you can think about doing. Hopefully this has helped you guys. If, if so, think about liking the video. Think about sharing it around and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Just in case you happened along my videos, just searching things about bed bugs. I do. I have hundreds of videos on my channel. Actually, my, my count just now was 188. Uh, about almost half of them are about bed bugs. So if you guys are interested in bed bug videos, um, you know, think about subscribing to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Thanks a lot. Bye.